get it. I just don't get it. I mean, we've been together forever and he still keeps things from me. I mean, it's not like I don't keep things from him. They're our private things. But I feel like whatever he's trying to hide has to do with me. I just figured by now he'd want some of my advice. But does he? No. It's band stuff, he says. Or it's guy stuff. Well, hell, I'm the girlfriend. I'm important to him, aren't I? The boys were going to tell me, and then he has to go and have the last word and say that it doesn't matter. Well, you know what? He doesn't matter. Who am I kidding? He matters a lot. He's the only thing that really does matter to me. I just feel like when it comes to the band, I disappear. Like I don't even exist at all. Do I sound self-centered? Yeah, I thought so too. <coughs> talk. Yeah, come in. Amy, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. It's okay. No, it's not. But I'm glad you're putting up that fake smile. I'd probably die if I made you cry. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I shed a tear or two on the way home. Lacey freaks. She hates emotional people. Shit! <laughs> Amy, I was way out of line. James, just don't hide things from me. What were you guys talking about? We really haven't decided. What were you guys talking about? The guys had a plan of joking. Which about. happened, so what's the plan? Sit down. Now listen, Amy. It's not a for sure thing. I haven't made up my mind yet because I keep thinking about you. You know how bands get discovered, right? No. Well, some get lucky and an agent or whatever catches them at a club where they live. Others send in demo tapes to companies and stuff. And others, they they travel around the country and play at different clubs and music houses. I have a feeling I'm not going to like the ones you guys are thinking about. Probably not. But the guys, they think you understand. So you're going to quit school and travel? I mean, that's the plan. The guys really want to do it. I don't care about school. You know I never have. But I care about you. So if you don't want me to go, then I won't go. I'll just tell them to go on without me or something. Will you stop playing guitar? I never thought about that. But yeah, I mean, I only play with you and with the band. It's not like I'm going to go play with someone else if that's what you're thinking. It just isn't the same, you know? How long would you be gone? I don't know. Couple months. A year. Maybe two. Well, I guess waiting around is really going to suck then. I guess I'm going to have to learn to deal with it. Are you serious? <laughs> 
You cool with this? James, music is a part of your life, just like me and just like the boys. I can't ask you to quit. That'd be like I'm killing a part of you. But listen, you have to write. Done. And you've got to come back for me. Of course. Hold on one second. take this photograph with you. Everywhere you go, you write the date on the back and send it with the day that you send your letter. And then when I respond, I'll write the date that I sent my letter. I know I loved you for a reason. <laughs> because I'm that irresistible. Damn right. Hey! Didn't I tell you to stay away from my little girl? Dad, stop it! You shut up! You're grounded. I told you to stay away from him. And here he is in my house getting cozy. Boy, you better get out and you better stay out. Don't worry, Mr. Peters. You won't be seeing me around here for a while. But I love your daughter. There's nothing you can say or do to change anything. Oh, James, just go. I'll talk to you later. The hell you will. I told you to stay away from him. He's a street rat. Let me get to know him in the future. You will leave him and find a nice boy. One who goes to school and doesn't waste his time chasing stupid dreams. <laughs> I think you need to learn some manners. 